it's me, Brittany, and I just have a couple of things to say in this video. Um, first of all, thank you so much to everybody who has donated and liked and spread the word about our Books for Kids donation. We're really, really excited about it, and we're happy that you guys are as well. Um, like Clara said, I, I will post a video about what Scottish Rite Hospital means to me and why I chose it to donate books to. Um, but I'll do that as a video on its own and I'll post it soon for you guys. Um, now on to what this video is supposed to be about. Um, we are having another giveaway and I'm really, really excited about this one. Um, we have, thanks to Don Ryan from Simon & Schuster who gave us Meg Cat Meg Cabot's Van Volumes 1 and 2 of Vanished, she has a um, agreed to let us give away three copies of Lisa McMahon's Crier's Cross. This book sounds amazing, guys. I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to read it. And yeah, so be excited about this giveaway. We, you know, we're excited that there's three copies, so more chances for you guys to win. We'll have three different winners. Um, let me just read a short synopsis of the, what the book's about from Goodreads to you guys, just in case you the don't know The community of Criers Cross, Montana, population 212, is distraught when high school freshman Tiffany disappears without a trace. Already off balance due to her OCD, 16-year-old Kendall is freaked out seeing Tiffany's empty desk in the one-room schoolhouse, but somehow life goes on. Until Kendall's boyfriend Nico also disappears, and also without a trace. Now the town is in a panic. Alone in her depression and with her OCD at an all-time high, Kendall notices something that connects Nico and Tiffany. They both sat at the same desk. She knows it's crazy, but Kendall finds herself drawn to the desk, dreaming of Nico and wondering if maybe she too will disappear and whether that would be so bad. Then she begins to receiving graffiti messages on the desk from someone who can only be Nico. Can he possibly be alive somewhere? Where is he? And how can Kendall help? The only person who believes her is Jason, the new guy she finds irritating and attractive. As Kendall and Jason grow closer, Kendall digs deeper into Nico's mysterious disappearance to stumble upon something, some, some ugly and deadly local history. Kendall is about to find out, to find out just how far the townspeople will go to keep their secrets behind. This book sounds really good to me. Sounds creepy interesting, a mystery, some romance, everything. And Lisa McMahon, if you haven't read her, she's an amazing author. You should definitely check her out. And yeah, really excited about this giveaway. The way to enter is you have to answer the question, what is the creepiest thing that has happened to you? We will be choosing the top three creepiest, weirdest, strangest answers. And the more creative, the better. The more likely you are to win. Um, we would love to see some of your video responses telling us something creepy that's happened to you. Maybe you can, you know, I don't know, you could just by telling us, you could do something creative with the story about it. Uh, you can also comment, um, on here on our YouTube channel. Um, we will link you to our blog where the form for the giveaway is. Um, but yeah, we're really excited. And I felt like I want to tell a creepy story that's happened to me for, like, this video. Because I think it'd be interesting, you know, kind of show you, like, kind of get in the mood of Cryer's Cross. Okay, you guys might think I'm crazy for this, but I'm going to just admit it. I believe in ghosts. I know, I know, I know. People make fun of me for it all the time. Um... I don't know, I just grew up believing in them, and I've had some experiences. One experience I had was when I was in high school, and I was house-sitting for a family friend who was out of town for the week, and the house is in downtown Dallas. Um, I don't know if there's any people from Dallas that watch our videos, but there is um, an area, it's called Lover's Lane. And it's really nice houses. And usually they're kind of like McMansions or, you know, really expensive homes. But our family friend, he had a nice house, but it was older. And he had a huge yard, which is 
really rare if you live in downtown Dallas. So I was really excited. It was walking distance from, like, you know, I could go to the movies, you know, just check out Dallas while I was house-sitting. And my mom didn't work too far away, so um, if I decided I didn't want to be there, then, you know, I could. Because this was when I was, I don't know, 15, I believe. It was before I had a car or a driver's license, so I couldn't just, like, leave. But um, the house was older, and um, it was nice. It wasn't. It didn't really have a creepy vibe or anything at all. I wasn't scared about being anything. So I was downstairs in the living room facing these doors they're like big glass doors and you see through see the huge backyard and I was reading um and I was the only one in the house and all of a sudden I saw something in the corner of my eye move and I looked over and I was like oh. because you know I was just like well no one's here I'm here by myself and I look over and I see this gentleman he's really tall he looks sad he's dressed in kind of like these wore like during 1940s period clothing and uh, he was just it's like he didn't even see me he just came around the corner from the kitchen and it looked like he was about to go upstairs and then he just vanished I swear to you to this day that I saw him uh, you could think I'm crazy it I'll, I'll forgive you it's fine but that was probably one of the creepiest things that's ever happened to me what was even creepier about it was I called my mom because, you know, I was, of course, freaked out. And I told her, I was like, Mom, I just saw something. And she says, what did he look like? Yeah, I didn't know what to think at first when she was like, what did he look like? Um, but yeah, then we started talking about it. And she had seen the same man at the same place before um, earlier that week. And it just kind of confirms to me that I wasn't imagining it. You know, if someone else saw this, then it was really there. But yeah, that's just an idea of something creepy that's happened to you um, that you could talk about. Uh, I'm really excited about hearing what you guys say, it's like you have to say or what you think. Um, I love hearing creepy stories. I love reading horror novels and scary movies. And so it'll be fun hearing what you guys you know what your stories are but yeah um i will we will leave a link below show um where you can go to fill out the form on our site for the giveaway and if you make a video b response or blog link that in the form with it because there's a little space where you can add links but yeah um i'm really excited about it and thank you again to everybody for the books for kids donations um Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, we're loving it. We're excited about it. And, you know, we're glad that you guys are really getting into it as well. But, yeah. Um, all right. I'll talk to you guys later.